Hey guys, Brent here. i um doing a video on the Maxpedition Fight medical pouch. Um, I'm also going to do, I'm just going to go through what's in it. Uh, I got this pouch from eBay. It was like $45. Uh, I used to have the ATS um, small medical pouch. It was a tear-off pouch. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to get a tear-off pouch again, but I needed to put more stuff in it. Um, as most of you know, I'm out of the military now. But I'm also now uh, a leader for the, my local venturing crew, which is a part of scouting, because my brother's in it. <clears throat> so, since most of the people that are in it are under the age of 18, and I mean, you learn first aid in Boy Scouts, yeah, but with my military training and also going to wilderness survival, uh, first aid school, and a bunch of other stuff like that, um, I usually carry more stuff because I know how to use more stuff. Um, but I'm also of that mindset, be prepared. So, this is the pouch, obviously. Um, it had a Max Edition patch right here. And I was going to put a little patch right here, a cross patch, but I just didn't because uh, I think the Red Cross is... I did this with paint pens. I think that's a really good um, way to put on a marker on there. So, first off, I got a pair of trauma shears right here. And this uses malice clips to attach on, but it's not on the pack right now, obviously. So I got a pair of strong shears right here. Let's take that out for now. Now, if you didn't want to have this mounted on anything, it's got a nice little, you know, you can carry it around like that. You could put a shoulder strap on these if you're going hiking or something. It's got a patch panel right here for if you want to put like a, a drug allergy patch, a blood patch, or a cross patch. But I don't really feel the need to put any of that stuff on there. Um, I might get a no drug allergy patch, but chances are nobody's going to see this because it's not going to be on like I'm not wearing a plate carrier it's going to be on my pack so it's got this really nice zipper pocket right here which I really love because all my gear is in here but I mean if I just got you know just a cut on my finger all I need is a band-aid so this is a nice flat pouch that you can put I got a little packet of band-aids and some antiseptic pads or alcohol prep pads and I also got a little pouch of mouth sore medication canker sores so that's a good little pouch right there to just quickly grab something if you need. All those zippers came with pull tabs on them. That's really, I like that. Um, first off, it's Max Edition, so I mean, quality has been spoken for itself. It's good quality. All right, so now we got on the bottom of it. Well, I'll get that. But here's your buckle. You unbuckle it, and it also has this on it, so that you know if you just need to open it up and use it, it's not going to fall off this little thing right here, but then when you want to rip it off, it just obviously rips off, so. Um, on top of there, I have my blister kit, which, uh, check out USNER Doc's channel on how to make one. There's a list of all the stuff if you want to pause it and read what's in there, but there you go. Sometimes, like, if, I, like if I'm going on a day hike, I'll just take this out and put it in there. Well, that's the other thing is, I have this mounted to my day pack, or my, my actual pack pack, my rucksack, then if I'm going to go on a day hike, I'll just take my assault pack and rip this off and put it in there. So obviously, you can just rip that off and that would stay on your pack. So now here we got, I mean, you can see the size of my hand. So I mean, this is, I think, it's probably expanded up to five, I don't have my ruler with me, but it's probably about five inches. Um, if you look online, you can find the actual dimensions of it, but this is how packed I have it. So it can definitely expand, all right? So in this outer pocket right here, I have some nitrile gloves and a, bio, a biohazard waste bag. So if I'm out in the woods or whatever and we get a lot of bloody, you know, bandages or whatever, put that in a hazardous waste bag for when we get back. Okay. There's two red loops here to identify it as a medical pouch. Um, I think the reason that it's on the bottom is so that somebody, when they come up to you, can identify it as a medical pouch, but it's not, you know, all over the top of it to um, give away that it's a medical pouch as far as you know, if you're out and you're out in the woods with the military or whatever, and you're camouflaged, I mean, a red strap, you know, can give you away. So I think that's why they did that. I'm not 100% sure. So you got a red handle right here that identifies it as a med bag once you open up the pouch, obviously. Double zippers. Right, we'll open this up. All right, so when you open it up, you'll see that we have um, shock webbing right here in the middle shock webbing to close these two bags and they have it like this so that if, if you're on the side of the pack and this is stain on the side of the pack when you open it up that's why these are orient the pockets oriented that way 
because if this pocket was upside down, you know, to, if it was made to go like this, you know, you might have a pocket in here or pockets on both ends, but then when you open it up and you're hanging it from like a pack and then stuff would fall out. So in this little elastic part right here, I have a Gerber recon light, you know, just for, you know, if I'm out in the dark and I got one in the pouch already. Chances are I'll have a flashlight in my pocket, but, you know, it's good to have one in there. So this is more trauma-related stuff, and this is more general-related stuff. I have some stuff mixed in, but that's just general related stuff. So open up this one. I got a CPR face shield. I have a nasopharyngeal airway. This is 28 French, I believe. Yes, it is. Um, 28 French is for more, most uh, male adult, yeah, male adults. Um, you can see how thick it is. This will probably work for me and anybody older than me, like the older adults. I plan on getting another one that will fit um, more younger kids because that's who is going to be in my group. Um, you can always go a size smaller. Like if it's a little too small, it's still going to work. But if you put too big of one in a younger um, victim or, or patient, then um, this can irritate the inside nasal passages and cause bleeding. So. Um, I also have surge lube inside of one of my other pouches that I'll show you to facilitate enter, entering in. Um, but if people, I know that uh, the Army, I believe the Army IFX come with one of these. Marine IFX don't. Um, but for those that know how to use one, some people, if you're going to carry some in your kit, they're really easy to use. They don't really require that much training as far as use. And I'm not a doctor or anything like that, so I'm not claiming to know all that stuff. But you measure from the corner of the victim, of the patient's lip. Or the, the corner, yeah, the corner of their mouth to their earlobe, and that's a general measurement as far as the size. All right, so we got one of those. Got a cinch tight, which is a compression bandage, an abdominal pad, really thick trauma pad. Got a um, triangle bandage, roll of duct tape, H and H gauze, which is compressed gauze, quick clot. and a burn dressing. For those of you that are camping and everything, um, water, uh, this is a burn dressing called water gel. It's a gel soaked dressing. This would be a really good small lightweight thing to put in your kit, especially when you have kids that are using stoves, campfires, especially the stoves that have alcohol and that can splash and burn and, and stuff like that. So that's a really good item to have when you're camping that I think a lot of people either don't know exist or they just don't know, you know, don't know that it's out there to use. All right, so that's that pouch right there. Okay, move on to the other side. Now right, we got a tourniquet. This is a cat tourniquet. This is one of the newer ones because the older ones have this black Velcro, but this also has this new one has the white so that you can mark the time that you apply the tourniquet. If you turn it, if you use a different tourniquet that doesn't have anything like this on it, you always want to always want to mark what time you apply the tourniquet. Um, the best way to do that is somewhere on the forehead if you have a sharpie. I plan on putting a sharpie in here. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but you can mark it with blood on their on their forehead or something like that. I got a little film canister here. It's got pneumonia smelling salt in it, some sting uh, burn um, bee sting ointment, and I cut down some swabs to put in there. I'll get to that in a minute. Then in here I, I got another um, compressed bandage and an iPad. Especially, it's another good thing to have for when you're out hiking and stuff. Somebody, you know, it's really easy for somebody to just walk and stick themselves in the eye with a um, stick or something when they're hiking. So this is another um, kit that I put together off of USNER Doc's channel. Uh, like I said, there, there's surge lube right there. There are some things that I added that aren't on this list. And there's something that's on this list that I don't have, like uh, syringes or uh, sutures. I don't have sutures in here. I haven't been able to get any, and I don't really know how to use them, so I'm not going to carry them. So we got a um, surgical loop here. That's for that NPA. Um, tweezers, bandages, you know, medicine in there. There's another sting thing. There's a, I got another tourniquet in here, the TK4, which is like a rubber. You got an irrigation syringe. Band-Aids, gauze, 4x4s. If you want to pause that, and you can look at that. Or you can check out USNER Docs. He has this on here. It's a very good kit. 
so I think that's it. That's uh, what I carry in my first aid kit. And that's the fight pouch. And like I said, when I was carrying the ATS pouch, I couldn't fit all of this stuff in here. Couldn't fit near what I needed to. I mean, it, it, it fits. It's definitely a good pouch for an individual that wants to carry, you know, a little bit extra. That's a good pouch. But if you're carrying for yourself as well as some other people, then this is this this just is a great pouch. I love it, and I'm so glad that I was able to find it. Um, I just I, I love it. You can also you know where you put this. You could also put another roll of tape right there instead of the flashlight or whatever. And there's some other there's definitely some more room to expand if I need to put anything else in here. But I'm pretty I'm pretty set to go in here. Um, these pouches are plastic, but they're plastic lined with uh, nylon thread, so they're really they're really, they look cheap and they look cheap. I understand that they look kind of small and like they would rip on the video, but they're actually really tough plastic. And then they got that reinforcement in there. So even if you do get a cut right here, it's not going to rip because it's got that reinforcement. So you just zip it back up. Sometimes it can get a little crazy as far as like if you get something that's really misshapen like that, but that's why there's so much velcro on here. So you can put it on there and make it nice. Oh, one thing else that I forgot to show you that I carry is a uh, Hemostat. I'm not going to take it out. Everybody, okay. Right. You got me. I think it's back here. I got a Hemostat. Tactical black. Um, I got the Hemostat. I got the CPR face shield. And I got the um, gloves, the nitrile gloves along with the biohazard bag from eBay. Um, I want to say it's tactical, like medicine, something is their store. They have really great prices on any kind of tactical medical supplies. And they also have these really awesome kits. Um, they have a body protection kit, which comes with that. I got that package, and it came with the um, gloves and the biohazard bag. It also came with a gown, like a medical gown, and with a uh, face shield, the disposable plastic eye shield in case there's spurting blood in it. I left those at home. I don't really need them. Um, but it was definitely a great price, and I just got all of it. And it came in a vacuum sealed bag that's resealable. But they also got other, they have like a pandemic kit that comes with uh, two face shields, four gloves. I want to say it comes with a couple N95 masks. Um, and that's a great price too. And they got quick lot. They got all sorts of stuff on their website on eBay. Um, if I could remember the name, I would tell you, but I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But it's a very good, check out their store. They got good prices. And like I said, I got this pouch. I believe SKD Tech carries it, but I got it from eBay Bags. It's the store on eBay. I think it was $44, somewhere around there, plus shipping. But, so there we go. There's the Max Position Fight. The other thing I wanted to say is this is not made by Max. It's made by Max Edition, but it was actually a collaboration between um, Darren from Extreme Gear Labs. They make a bunch of great gear. Um, and he's the one who came up with the design and then collaborated with Max Edition to produce it. And like I said, I went through and looked at all sorts of medical kits, and I wanted a tearaway one, and this one is just the perfect size. So I highly recommend this pouch. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe. There's going to be a contest coming up for my 500 subs. Can't believe I reached 500 subs. It's crazy. But I'll be doing a giveaway for that, so I'm trying to figure out what to give away that I got laying around the house. So, thanks for watching. Take care, guys.